Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome back to the third in this series where I take you behind the scenes of a number of speaking gigs and I hope to provide some inspiration here, get the cogs turning and thinking, oh, maybe, maybe I could do that. Maybe that would work for me. Brilliant. Go for it. If you've got questions, ask me them because I'm always making videos, you know it. Um, so the third thing I want to talk about today is a gig between Stylist Magazine and Nat West that I did. So this was a interesting time for me. I remember getting this call and my I was in Pizza Express. Yep. I was in Pizza Express with my in-laws and I had a three-year-old and a very tiny baby. I think she was only about three weeks old. And I, it wasn't a call actually, it was a, an email. And I remember looking at it and just, do you know what the first thing I saw was, and this is thanks to Kate, I will tag her down below. The first thing I thought here was, not I've still got it, but this is all gonna be all right. Because I think sometimes when you have kids, um, or something changes, or you have to take your foot off the gas for a while. Sometimes you can feel like you, you're gonna lose all of the things that you had before. And this was a really lovely reassuring moment that there could be a possibility, things could still happen on the other side of this. So I was having my dough balls, I got the email, and then I thought, right, I'm not gonna do this while I'm trying to juggle Pizza Express. I'm gonna email when I get home, and we set up a call, and um, we booked in. And I remember saying to Kate, you know that I've got a really tiny baby? And she's like, yeah, cool, bring her along. So I then went to this event with my mum and my baby girl and she was 10 weeks old then my mum loved it she was having a lovely chat with cherry healy and um you know had a goodie bag uh, catering great and the actual panel was only about half an hour so i could pop up put some shoes on tighten my trousers undo my trousers i don't think i managed to get them up you know i mean it, yeah, um, but I didn't have to be in that sort of presenting stage. I could go back to being in my joggers is what I mean. Anyway, um, for me, it was really lovely because it was a repeat booking. So a year before I had worked with Stylist Magazine and then a year later, or not even a year later, I was doing something else. And this was so great because again, once you have relationships with people, once people understand what it is that you do and your skill set, then the options are there. And it's such a brilliant feeling. And I think sometimes as an entrepreneur or a business owner, you feel like you have to be everywhere and doing all of the things. And the truth of the matter is you don't. It's all good. So um, yes. Um, where am I going next? I am going here. I was really felt like I was representing in this talk. So there were various people, um, we were talking about money, there was someone who had raised a lot of income, somebody who was talking about building an agency, and I was very much there as like the freelancer, talking about negotiating and pricing and packaging your services. And so, yet I was there, as somebody who was very much like in early motherhood with my daughter. And I think sometimes we can talk, we can see conversations of money being very polished, very sort of over there. And I wish there were more conversations about money sometimes, like on bean bags. You know where it's like, we're just gonna open a packet of biscuits and go, what do you do? Or how, what's your favorite accounting system? Or I think I've undercharged here, like what should I do? I wish we could have that casual nature to it because I think sometimes money can feel a bit hidden and polished and austere and um, yeah, I was very much fresh, fresh out of, uh, you know, early motherhood and I was there. So I had this unique flavor and cont contribution here. And again, because I was in that stage of my life, I think I brought something that maybe I, I hadn't brought before in the same way. 
there was something about talking to a group of women and knowing that I was there 10 weeks postpartum. I was there with my mum and my daughter. And though I know those conversations where you get big groups of women together talking about something as emotional as money, that has such a power to change things. And it just made me remind myself like the importance of that an importance of being part of the con- conversation and sharing your knowledge if as a speaker you know things that other people don't know please share them because it's amazing what might happen three more things uh i had to work really hard on my succinct answers so in the first one when i worked with stylist live that was very much about the polish, the get your slides in early, what is the arc, what's the story, what's the journey. And this assignment very much was like succinct answers. So they had four people on the panel and Cherry and a room full of people and only 30 minutes. There wasn't an opportunity to wang on and say, well, there was this one time when I was seven. No, no, we had to make sure that we were giving deliverables, tangible examples and know what we were gonna say. So. I almost felt like a quiz master, Um, you know, uh, not a a quiz contestant rather. So the quiz person would go, what is it? And I'd be able to say it really, really quickly. Um, That was so great for me. Two more. I had a spike on the podcast, a spike of speaking inquiries and a speak of one-to-one clients. You never know who is watching in these rooms when people want to have a conversation with you. They want to get to know you more. And again, once they've seen you, there is already like a no like and trust because, you know, stylist and Nat West were already saying, yeah, she would be great for this. Brilliant. So already you've kind of, you've gone through some of the obstacles with people. And finally, this was the birth of Speak Up. So I launched this in October 2019. And since I've helped hundreds of people go through this process of speaking up. And it's such powerful work because once you get clear on those fundamental parts of your personal brand, your personal mission, your messaging, how you help people, the places and the spaces that are suddenly opened up to you it's just amazing. So if you would like to come to Speak Up Live, um, come along on the 1st of March. If you've missed that moment, do check out the Speak Up course, or we can do this work in a strategy session. Lots of love, and I'll see you next time. Bye.